Святослав, if we started to speak about karm, karmic uh, connections, yes, about energy, what do you think, how many times we are born and born and born and born? Well, um, um, billions and billions and billions of times. Uh, actually, the process of evolution, divine evolution, is like, it's not the question of 10 or 20 times, even it's outside of, you know, millions of times. It's like really billions and trillions of times. And uh, that's very interesting because uh, this universe, um, you know, the structure of this universe, uh, actually, it's like um, there are six uh, worlds in this universe. Uh, gods, demigods, human beings, uh, animal world, um, then spirits, and then hell. So this is the, um, the, the last one. Hell, hell, hell. hell yeah. And um, by the way, many people think that the concept of hell is only Christian. Not at all. Hindu religion and the Buddhist religion, uh, they are speaking about hell. What do you mean about hell? Is it just what is kind of the world? Well, uh, I hope we'll not know about that, uh, but <laughs> I mean to say that there are six parts in this universe yes. and uh, our souls may uh, reincarnate in any of these six worlds, mm -hmm. including paradise, demigods, human beings, animals, spirits, world. spirits and hell as well. And of course, um, I hope we as a spiritual people, we want to continue our meditation, I mean, not only in this lifetime, but in the future lives as well. So it means we hope, and we have to manage that, uh, to be born in the future in a, one of the so-called good, good world. I mean, human world or, or paradise, because just to continue our practice and especially very bad um, idea to be born in the, in the animal world because it's like a complete ignorance and the world of spirits is also very um, like um, a very bad place to be born in because it's also uh, in a Buddhist tradition the, the world of spirits they call it hungry ghosts Mm -hmm. and it's also a kind of world of suffering and it's very difficult to meet you speak about you. animals uh, no no hungry ghosts it's it's hungry. a ghost like it's mm -hmm. a spirit world and it's also a very bad uh, choice and uh, when i say choice i mean you know it's a very complicated question because sometimes we mean that free choice um who has this free choice in a sense we may say that only highly advanced practitioners yogis they have this free choice but at the same time it's strange to speak uh, but i like this concept that each and every uh, being really really speaking has his or her free choice i mean to say um you are living life the way you live life and each moment you create certain ideas uh, certain wishes desires goals and all that thoughts wishes desires they already creating information for your next birth i mean to be born consciously you don't need to be highly advanced yogi you don't need to be saint just whatever okay today is uh, as far as i know saturday okay um today you just keep on living your life and you're always producing goals ideas wishes emotions you know that create information for your next life so it means better to be careful about our thoughts and emotions Okay, but Svetoslav, you said that uh, next life we can, uh, for example, born in animal world. It's possible. But, yeah, it is uh, possible. It's possible, but what we have to do to born there, because maybe we don't want to be there, and uh, if we are human already, why we were born as animals? Well, if, uh, I mean, if we look, look around, so what we can see, that the different people live life according to the different principles. For example, somebody is a very much intellectual, 
I mean, reading books and just trying to think about different intellectual and scientific questions. Somebody else just, um, you know, upset with the money and financial goals. Somebody else upset with the food, the sex, power, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. meditation uh, or religious uh, questions. And somebody is just, uh, I mean, watching TV and drinking beer, beer, cheap beer. You know, it's this. Uh, there are many different people yes. in, the, in the living life according to the different styles. And as I mentioned, actually, um, you know, we're living every day with a certain set of goals, emotions, thoughts. We behave in such a certain way. You know that like you know creating this information for the future okay. and the fu future incarnation it means if somebody is just you know um well well living in the world uh, oh, when quite many people are not reading books they're not interested in intellectual questions but they're just uh, taking uh, food and watching tv you know and um, yeah. I'm not against TV, by the way, I, I like TV very much, there are many useful uh, information we can get from mm -hmm. like uh, History Channel, hi History, uh, you know, National Geographic, there are many interesting TV channels, mm -hmm. I'm not against uh, TV programs, uh, not at all, but I mean it is just entertainment and uh, food and animal life already here, then naturally, unfortunately, People, such a people uh, mm -hmm. can be born, they have a great chance to be born in the animal world.